Hey guys, today is about Commander 2016. I wanted to give everyone a friendly reminder that you can still find these at Target, Walmart, local game stores, and I believe Barnes & Nobles. I have not actually seen this particular Commander deck in Barnes & Nobles, but I've seen other Commander decks. Also, uh, Toys R Us, that's kind of an interesting one. Normally their price point is much higher, but they have more expensive decks because no one's going to Toys R Us to buy magic cards. The local Toys R Us near me actually no longer carries magic cards. They only carry Pokemon. They carry like double the Pokemon cards now. So that is interesting. One of the things I wanted to talk about is the fact that you can still find these and people on Craigslist are trying to sell them for 90, 50, lots of money sealed. And it is interesting yeah it's very interesting how well this particular commander set went obviously 2015 did not go so well 2015 was value wise not a great set interest wise also not a great set so when we talk about value i actually took apart the decks looked at the most expensive cards and just like original commander there is a tremendous amount of value in keeping it sealed. And especially if you have all of them. That is where the value actually lies. If you have a collection of these, you can actually sell them for more than they cost individually. Sounds kind of strange, right? But it's one of those products that is unique in that way. One of the other interesting points I want to make about... Uh, this particular product uh, not only is it getting harder to get uh, and it's out of supply but once commander 2017 rolls over i do expect it to increase in price sealed so when you take a look at the product you have some nice cards you have chromatic you have deep glow skate which i'm going to show you the most expensive cards Lightning Greaves is surprisingly six dollars that obviously is a reprint as is chromatic lantern and Reliquary Tower. So when we talk about the top five cards, three of them are reprints and two of the reprints are uncommon. It's very unique for a set like this. I know uncommon, common slash rare doesn't really mean that much because do you only get one of them? And if it's a new card, like Deep Glow Skate, does it really matter it's a rare? Cause it's pretty much mythic cause there's only one copy in that deck. So when you talk about the set, if you ever wanted to buy the set, now would be the time. I really do not expect this set, 2016 Commander decks, to get cheaper. This is the bottom point. I've seen a lot of people on eBay, a lot of people on TCG Player, and most people on Craigslist. Craigslist is interesting because if you follow Craigslist, you can kind of figure out where people expect to make money. Now, they're not always right, and many times they are wrong, but when you have scalpers, right? Craigslist is the ultimate place for scalpers. You might say, oh, eBay, da, da, da. but like as soon as like a special limited this and 3DS comes out or the Nintendo Pikachu 3DS, the hour later you have like 50 posts on Craigslist, people trying to scalp it. They bought it for 200 and now they want to sell it to you for 400, right? The same with Nintendo Switch, the same with the NES, uh, the retro NES. Uh, overall, it's just what it is. And when I see things getting scalped on um, for magic cards, I you do not see unpopular stuff because the margins are not there. So a person is not going to buy a Commander 2015 deck back in the day and try to scalp it because they will lose money, right? But for something like this, yeah, they will buy it, they will love it, they will keep it, and they're okay setting a very high price point, and then eventually maybe someone buys it, right? So. Commander 2016 was amazing. It was amazing. Uh, the value, again, the value is not in opening it and selling the individual cards. The value is they are very unique, and I do expect sometime the decks will go up. And for a new EDH player, it's actually fantastic. You get a very unique four color commander, and it plays differently from, you know, I have two of these decks. And they play differently from any other deck, mainly because they're four colors, right? Like you just have so much more buildability. Like you can just add tutors and more tutors and more combos. Like that's perfect for me because it's four colors. 
I think this is a great buy. And if you can find them at Walmart, if you can find them at Target or Kmart or wherever you, you can find them at Barnes and Nobles, you probably should look into buying them, especially if you have any interest in the deck. But I wouldn't keep it. If possible, I would keep it sealed. I there there is a lot of interesting indications for this set that I have not seen in the commander set since 2013, the original commanders. I believe it was 2013. And with the original commander set, they were more valuable as a set. They they just swore. And you, you had one deck that was better than the rest, Kalia. The Kalia deck was very good in terms of value, mainly because of Kalia. But you had good ED8 staples and they just kept going up. That is what I imagined this to be. I imagine that, hey, you just keep them stored or you open them and you keep the cards together. I don't feel like it's about if it's sealed or not sealed. I feel like the cards have to be kept together. And that's the important key because they do play well and there are unique abilities. So if you sewed a piece like, let's say, Deep Skate, Deep Glow Skate, it would be really difficult for you to trade for a Deep Glow Skate after you need it. They're just That's how Commander works. If you take apart the deck and you start selling piecemeal of it, it's really difficult to put it back together because there's so few copies or the copies are in the hands of casual players. And casual players are typically players who are not interested in buy listing, not interested in reselling, and overall not interested in uh, trading. Uh, they don't go to F&M, they don't go to GPs, they just play kitchen table. And this, the majority of the product is at kitchen tables. And this for the kitchen table player is a fantastic product. I also look at the cards and I want to look at what's unique about the set. Commander, original Commander had a lot of unique cards that have been going up even today because they are very, the mechanics are unique. And I look at this and the set has a bunch of cards that I don't think can be reprinted easily. So overall, I like it for many reasons. I like a collection of them sealed. That's my ideal, but if you had to play them I would keep it together, or at least, you know, once you're modifying your deck, I would keep whatever you took out, assuming that it's unique and hard to get into maybe a binder or something, so you can have that. My gut feeling is I don't know what's going to spike, but I know something is going to spike from this set, and in the years to come, things will go up and up and up. Now, I can't tell you exactly what's going to go up, but there's enough unique things in this uh, deck where overall there will be something. The probability is very high there will be something here that will be 10, 15, even $20 in the future given enough time. It has a lot of great mechanics. The plus one plus one mechanics so obviously very good. The counter, any time you can interact with counters, that's always amazing. So right now is also the point in time that I would recommend buying singles if you need them. If you just need one or two cards for your other deck, now would not be a bad time to buy them, especially for something like Deep Glow Skate. Deep Glow Skate is very unique. I like it, and it's. I don't see this being reprinted because counters are not something that people want to do uh, in standard, especially when it enters battlefield. Double the number of each kind of counters or any number of target permanents. Well, I mean... Planeswalkers or permanents, I don't see this ever being standard legal because it's a little too good. Now, Chromatic is interesting. This price graph, I do want to talk a little bit more about. Clearly, the cheapest point that you could have bought this card, was, which was reprinted in only one of the decks, people expected it to be in all of the decks, but I believe it's only in one. I definitely know it's not in all of them because I purchased two and they didn't have them. So... Chromatic Lantern, the cheapest price you could have got it was almost right after release, around five, looks like, I want to say five dollars. And now it is a nine dollar card, and it was always destined to be a nine dollar, ten dollar, twelve dollar. Assuming no more reprints, this should be a fifteen dollar card because people like many colors. Now, is there a dragon deck that has five colors that's coming out this summer? Yes. 
that's the pattern recognition that you have to like look at is hmm artifact hmm five color mana generation okay okay i can see that eventually i feel like every edh deck will uh, go to more colors and less because when you play more colors you just get more powerful cards so why wouldn't you go four or five colors eventually right because then you can have all the tutors you have all the best creatures you can have everything so anyway that is my uh, advice to you if you see these one of these in the store and there it's an okay price it's not um marked up to 90 bucks on craigslist buy it i mean buy all of them like i feel like as a long-term hold assuming you keep it together ideally sealed there's lots of unique cards in this set anyway that is it bye guys